A sitting man's family reaching out to the community for a kidney donation that can help save his life. After a diagnosis with polycystic kidney disease, he found out his family isn't eligible to donate. Our Brandon Schaff joins us now to tell us how they took to social media to get help. Brandon? Hey, good evening, Brian. And since the polycystic kidney disease is genetic, his family found out that they can't donate. Well, they say that that's because some of them also have the disease or are a carrier of it. Well, since there's no cure and they need more options, they made a Facebook post to reach even more potential donors. The unknown is the scariest part, I think. Um, and what, of course, could happen if he doesn't get it, because that is also scary. Yeah. Marissa Prado and Grace Columbus are the daughters of 60-year-old Donald Columbus, a field service technician with about 40 years of experience. He was hurt on the job and went to the oh, hospital. Yeah, like By coincidence, doctors discovered he had a life-threatening genetic kidney disease oh, we unrelated to his injuries. Yeah, no. After finding out he had cysts on his kidneys and would need a transplant, That's his family reached out for help. I mean, we love our dad. <laughs> That's our dad. <laughs> we love our dad. Um, I want my dad to walk me down the aisle. I want my dad to see his future see grandchildren. His grandchildren. Yes, to grow old with us, to make memories. Grace works in a hospital lab and Marissa is a nurse, which they said gives them more insight into what's happening to their dad. They said the cysts could grow inside his kidneys to the size of a football and it could also eventually lead to kidney failure. If her dad gets a donated kidney, Grace said it could extend his life by at least 10 years. I could never even think of a way to repay anybody for this. And someone has to go from like, be as selfless as possible to do something like this, to give the gift of liberal life. They said doctors are not sure how long Donald can live with the disease since it depends on his kidney output, which is checked every few weeks. A kidney donation wouldn't cost anything since they said Methodist Hospital and the family's insurance are handling it. And they said that a donation can improve his quality of life and give them more time with him. We need years with our dad. And um, that's really what we're asking for. And for someone to have just one person seeing this, to have that tiny spark in their heart to change not only his lives, but the lives of our family and our future family means everything. The family says that at least three people took an assessment to be potential donors so far, but were deemed ineligible. Well, you have to be in good health to donate a kidney. And for more information on how to help, you can visit livingdonormethodistsa.com. And you can also reach out to the family directly at kidneys for Donnie, that's D-O-N-N-I-E, at gmail.com.